Hannah Dworkin and I'm the Director of Outreach Programs at Bay Area Children's Theatre and I helped to create the Story Explorers program. A colleague of mine, an amazing playwright, Min Kong, and I taught storytelling classes. These were mostly students with autism. Min worked his magic and he created a show called Story Explorers, specifically designed to meet the needs of children with autism and other disabilities. We've launched this summer a new program, a pilot, and this is the Story Explorer Residency. What we did when we were building this program is we thought about what else could we give these students? Repetition. We know that children with autism thrive on repetition, that they're able to process orally and physically new information if they're just given it a few more times. Red and blue make her go a little faster. Purple, 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 purple. The Story Explorers Residency really benefits children with autism and lets them go even deeper into the material. And they're able to engage with it in a way that they wouldn't if we just visited once. So we find that children with autism can be very rigid in what they'll do and what they won't do. Story Explorers gives them an opportunity to expand their world. The students are varying degrees of severity in their um, life with autism. Mm -hmm and it's difficult to bring them together for a group activity. And I love how you're using it not only a structured way, but systematically coming back with the students. And as we saw today, I mean, the students are retrieving that information from a week ago and able to act on it with the one student dancing and knowing the steps that you had taught. That element of routine is what the kids in our autism programs thrive on and when you marry that with art and music and dance and all those things that you bring to the classrooms, there was not one student that was not fully immersed in what you were presenting and throughout from start to finish, you had a captive audience. And that's hard to say in our autism classrooms, so Story Explorers, I think you've got a great thing. So the first time we had Story Explorers program this summer, then they came in, uh, was the first week of school. What they got from that first session, the next time Story Explorers came in, they were ready and excited, and each of them started to get more and more involved. Hunter is very, happy boy but um also like really hard to sit still he has the wiggles all the time and i noticed that he was entranced by the story so having hana open up with the story and then incorporate let's say the beach the sand and for him to touch the water spraying it's the first time i've seen it all year where they're actually like wanting to be involved not scared to be involved not losing their patience not wanting to get up and run and it's, um, it's beautiful. I've seen a lot of students individually benefit from Story Explorers. I'm thinking specifically of one student, Hunter, who my first day I came in, he was literally climbing on the tables, climbing the walls, and jumping off of them, and he ran up and bit Sharky the puppet and was running around the whole time and did not want to engage. And then after about three meetings, he settled down into things. This past class with him, he was so engaged with being underneath this umbrella that he moved from his chair onto my lap and just wanted to stay with me. And um, I couldn't believe that this child who had been biting everybody, had been jumping off of things, was settling into experiencing music and tactile elements, something that he might not have done otherwise.